Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will see the module 11 and so on lab using background jobs and scheduled jobs. So the objective of this lab would be, you know, how to create and manage the remote job and then create and manage a scheduled job and scheduled task. So uh, basically uh, the background jobs provide the useful way to run multiple commands at the same time and also to run long running commands in the background. So in this lab, we will learn to create and manage two of the three basic kinds of jobs. So let us see the steps for that. So first we'll see how to, you know, start and manage the jobs. So in this exercise, we will first start the Windows PowerShell remote job and then start a local job and then review the job status and then we'll stop a job and finally retrieve the job results. So currently I have logged into CL1 machine and uh, open the PowerShell in run as administrator mode. And first, uh, you know, to start the PowerShell remote job to retrieve the list of physical adapter, I'm going to run the following command using the invoke command that we have seen in the previous video. So invoke dash command script to block get dash net adapter for the physical and mention the computer name which is dc1 and svr1 so i'm going to run this job as job and the job name would be remote net adapt okay so the job name remote net adapt and the state is running okay so next we will list the smb share so to create the remote job for you know listing the uh, the server message block shares on DC1 and SVR1, let's run the following command. So here we will be replacing the net adapter command with the SMB share. So let me just uh, remove this one and type get dash smb share and the computer name will be same and i'm going to make this job name as remote shares okay and then we'll see how to retrieve all instance of win32 volume class Next, we'll create the, uh, the partial remote job to retrieve all the instances of Win32 volume. That will, uh, you know, we are going to run it for all the computers which are in the Active Directory domain. But in case if any uh, computer which are not online, we may not, you know, get the output for those computers. So let me run the following command invoke command in the script block so the command going to be get dash sim instance and the class name win32 volume and uh, specify the computer name which is going to be all the computers that are in the Active Directory domain. So get dash AD computer
filter with all and from this select expand name let me just use the open brace here and run as job job name going to be remote disk okay so we have created the remote job for the win32 volume as well so next uh, we'll list all entries from local security event log so to start the local job that will you know retrieve all the entries from the security event log we can use the following command so let's, uh, you know, just uh, follow this command start dash job and the script block get dash event log. I'm going to specify the log name, which is security. and the name local security okay so next uh, we will you know produce 100 directory listing so to start the local job for this you know produce the 100 directory listing we can you know type the following command Okay, let me type the command start dash job and script block one two hundred for each directory C colon and this will run recursively and the name going to be local directories okay so next we will list the running jobs so we have created the local and remote jobs so we are going to just list you know all the jobs that we just created so we have created totally one two three four five jobs so here we are seeing one state which says failed that could be uh, like um, uh, some of the computers are not online, so we are seeing the failed state. Okay, so only the local job is running, the last one, and the rest of them are completed. So let me just, uh, uh, you know, to stop any of the running jobs, we can use the following command, stop dash job and the job name which is local dirt so now if i type get dash job we can see these are completed and this is stopped and this is failed okay so now let's see the result of the remote net adapter job so for that, uh, let's run the following command.
Okay, so let's type the command receive. Receive dash job and the job name remote net adapt. Okay, so this is the result of the the job that we have created so there are two physical adapter for those two post name that we mentioned and next uh, we'll receive the result for remote disk job so let's run the following command to get the result of the remote disk job so get dash job and the job name remote disk so here let's include child job receive job Okay, so we are receiving an error because uh, due to the partial remoting not being turned on. Okay, so in this exercise, uh, we have uh, successfully, you know, started the partial uh, remote jobs and uh, we started the local job as well. And we have reviewed the jobs that we have, you know, created, I mean, the job status. And we also stopped one of the jobs and uh, we retrieved the job result as well and the last one failed because of the um, the partial remoting not being turned on so that's it uh, in this video and uh, we will see the next hands-on lab in the next video thank you